Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, my RimWorld walkthrough guide. Um, in this episode we're going to be going over some uh, more stuff to do with the early game and we're going to maybe get to the intermediate game. But if we want to do that, um, it's going to take a long time. Uh, we've got a lot to do um, and not a lot of time to do it. So if we look at our freezer from last time, we're down to minus three. And that's because I have five coolers sitting here and I've got double thick walls almost throughout. So there's that, which is really helpful. Um, other, uh, Another thing, oh, I think that's it. So uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do today, so I, I'll kind of say what we would need to do in order to get to the intermediate game. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is build out our other storage facility here like so and I think we're gonna put our entrance way right here uh, that would be good uh, because that's where people are gonna come out from the warehouse another thing we're gonna want to do is actually build our warehouse right here so that we can get going on things that uh, we can produce um, we're going to want to start practicing stone cutting in order to get uh, more durable walls for defensive structures. And then we're going to build those defensive structures here and here. And as you can see, they are quite massive. So it's going to take a lot of materials. And um, I don't know if I'm just going to cut it out or, or what. But uh, anyway, uh, that's, that's kind of the agenda. Oh, also uh, flooring. We're going to want to get some actual floors down this hallway, uh, carpets in the bedrooms. Um, I guess we'll use marble flooring. I think that's what I want to do is do marble flooring throughout. Um, maybe sandstone. We do have a lot of marble, but I kind of want to save it for things. Um, and then we're going to want to do some plant pots in certain places, some sculptures, uh, some art to make her. Please look a little bit better, and then we'll be out of the early game. But that is a lot to do, and uh, so anyway, let's get started right away and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, when we last left off, our little guys here were making some, or pick, picking some potatoes. Uh, and this guy was researching. Um, I guess while they do that, I can go over some basic security things. So there's sandbags and um, and there's wooden barricades that you can build. Um, before there were used to just be sandbags and they were made from steel. And there are little areas that you can shoot over. Um, as that would imply for sandbags. Um, so yeah, essentially uh, now we have sandbags and wooden barricades. Based on the research while I'm looking at this, it seems that sandbags are all around better, but they kind of cost more because they cost cloth. So I, I might just make barricades, even though sand, sandbags would technically be better. Stallion. I wonder if you can actually ride stallions. I don't know if you can. I, I don't think so. I've never seen anything on that, but maybe you can. I don't know if that's new in an update or something. Also, this is bothering me because there's no way in heck I'm going to be able to build this wall that close to that steam geyser so I'm actually gonna extend this to here just remove this all right they're getting started on that so this is gonna be where we have all of our materials that we don't need to freeze we're gonna just store it in there okay minus eight yeah we're getting there uh, as long as you're below zero that's good um, I set this to minus 9, and it's struggling to do to minus 9, but this should be good for now. This guy's just 
relaxing socially. They're just going to talk. Oof. Got some weeds growing in here for some reason. I never, must have never cleared them out. Can't wait till we get some floors. Make that look a little bit nicer. Nope. Oh, let's pause the game. We've got a raid. This guy with the with the club. They're always naked. I never get that. All right, we're gonna send these two out to out to kill. Um, I'm gonna actually slow down the game speed just because I have a habit of. You know, it'd be funny if I killed that boomalope and killed him in the process. But yeah, I have a habit of going way too fast for my own good during combat. Don't... Oh! I don't want you doing that. I want you to come over here. Fire at him. Okay. You, you, there is friendly fire in this game. I have experienced it. It's not fun. Okay, I'm going to send these guys over. Okay, he's engaging. All right, I'm going to have him turn back. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, just go. Go, 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 run. There we go. He's dead. So that's some classic kiting. Good tactic to use. Especially when you have such a good um, shooter to start out with. Um, I don't normally start out with a shooter that good. I'm actually not going to take his steel club because it, that stuff I just find accumulates and then it's all full in your storage facility, so I'm not going to take it. Okay, so this is the grave of our last victim. That'll be the grave of our next victim. All right. Good job, guys. Defending the base from stupid people like this. Let's see what he was. He was a hideaway and banished. Ooh, wonderful. Incapable of social. Transhumanists. Transhumanists are, like, I hate that trait because they complain if they don't have, um, they just have a, they always have, like, a constant mood debuff unless you can get some whatever unless you can get uh, some pros um, bi bi bionic limbs yeah psychopath that's actually a good trait gay uh, I don't care <laughs> it doesn't really affect anything besides they'll just go after people of their own gender um, shooting melee yeah he actually had some pretty good skills but I don't like that uh, he's incapable of social but that's not that's not really a big deal the transhumanist thing was really bad Okay, so we have a mad stallion, so some, the stallion's going to come and destroy us if we do not kill it. So, we're actually going to send our, send out the boys. Um, Arvid's going to do some kiting while, oh, he's going right for him. Okay, good, 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 good. Turned around. He's fast, damn. Well, he's a horse. Get him. Oh, get him, get him, get him. How's he still freaking moving? He's running like he's on morphine or something. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's dinner. <laughs> Let's see. What did he do to him? A missing body part caused the stallion to, per stallion to perish. Uh, Shay's bolt action uh, rifle bullet hit the stallion. Stallion... Chase bolt action rifle bullet hit the stallion's left lung and body. Ooh. Uh, right eye. Ooh. Punctured into the fine mist of. Oh, okay. Brain. Oh, man. Headshot to the brain. That's what. And apparently a missing body part. I'm pretty sure the brain caused it to die. <laughs> nice. All right. That's some dinner. Quit now, quit interrupting me, game. Uh, if your colonists get injured, 
uh, take them into their bedroom and make sure someone tends to them with uh, medicine. Usually they'll be okay early game. Uh, early game industry injuries aren't, I almost said industries. Early game uh, injuries usually aren't that bad. Oh good, Shay is doing some research. It's looking good. This is looking good. You guys chop that wood. Here's our kitty. See, I told you she'd be okay. We'll get into taming uh, later. She doesn't even have tameness fully. But then we can start doing... Um, training it to guard, attack, rescue, and haul. I think I'm just going to teach this thing to haul. Because cats <laughs> aren't very good for... Um, Aren't very good for fighting. We're gonna use uh, wild boars for fighting uh, when we get some of those on the map. We'll tame some wild boars, and then another good animal to tame is uh, or is to have on your farm is chickens, uh, if you can get a hold of them, usually from uh, merchants. Oh, we have some steel here. Let's remember to take that. He's praying. Hmm. Yeah, just as I just want to keep at least one person on this at all times. That would be very helpful. I might disable the kitchen for now because oh, they finally took care of that body. Put it over here. They haven't built the grave yet, though. And they're not building this yet for some reason. It's because they've got other things to do. There's a lot to do right now. <laughs> this guy I think is taking wood over. Yeah. He building. Um, we're running out of wood. I need them to chop down those trees. Because I can't afford to have this thing go out. Which will be so nice, because once we get our geothermal generator, it just sits here and doesn't need any maintenance and just provides a ton of electricity. We'll build our first one here, and then we'll build our second one here. We'll most likely need a third one. And we'll probably build it right there. That's probably a good spot. It's nice and close by. Um... These are relatively... Now, like, this is, like, a number one target for raiders. They will go after your electronics. Uh, like, they'll go after these really, really bad. They'll go after your generators, batteries, things like that. Uh, that, to them, is their number one priority. And then their number two priority is going after crops, which isn't good. So uh, what you need to do is you need to build a wall around it, and that is usually enough to deter them. <laughs> usually. Not always. Sometimes you can have issues, especially late game. Okay, we're making pretty good progress on that research. This is going to take a very long time, but they're going to learn, get a lot of experience from doing it. Also, you can stop your research at any time and select something else, and you will not lose the progress. That's something I wish I knew early on. Because I assumed that you would lose progress, because I assume the worst, usually. And uh, learned that I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, another thing, I'm actually going to, well, I don't need to pause. But I want to look, make sure that I do this the same again, because I don't want to make the same, same mistake. Oh, no. Give me a minute. Guess not. Dang, we've been getting a lot of raids this stream. It's okay. This guy's nothing. Wait, what are you doing? There we go. Alright, come at me, bro. Okay. I want you to start firing at him. Um, my other guy isn't here yet. Oh, wow. 
Um, let's wait till one more shot. Okay. Now I'm going to get you to run this way. And I'm going to get you to start firing at him now. See, this guy's terrible shot compared to the other guy. <laughs> He's gone. Okay. Done. Easy. Let's, build, let's add to our collection of human bodies. If you have colonists with cannibal trait, which I don't think I do. I, I forget. I don't think I have cannibals. No, I don't. Cannibal is a really good trait. I do. This guy's a cannibal. Um... I can get him to actually consume this guy. And, uh... <laughs> just watch. Because he's a cannibal. I'm just... I'm gonna practice cannibalism. You just watch. I should have been doing this. What's your, uh... Yeah, you eat. So that made him actually... So he ate a corpse. So he doesn't like that. So it's better to butcher them. But he's really happy... That he ate, uh, <laughs> ate a person. So he's quite happy about that. And he's not hungry anymore, so win-win. We can actually check on what body parts this guy is missing, but... Anyway, <laughs> that's one of the many disturbing things you can do in this game. So what's he missing? Let's see. Bitten off left shoulder. Nice. Brain. Oh, that was destroyed. He headshot. Okay, I thought he ate his brains. Okay, you know what I might do now? I might actually... Enable all corpses. Uh, well, actually, not mechan mechanoid. I'll disable... I will enable human-like corpses in here, because I can get him to eat them. So, it's best to... I think, from what I remember, it's best to butcher them. To butcher people. Um, so we can actually add this to human-like corpses. Uh, not colonist corpses, because we're not going to eat them. We're not going to eat our colonists. That's just weird. Hey! Get these mules out of here. Or donkeys. Quest. Oh, I think we got our first quest. So, Dragonfly, chief of people of Aberno... Uh, Bruno uh, has informed the collection of valuable items worth $609. That's not very good. Steel plate armor. Maybe an unknown threat. So um, I'll just explain what this is. So we're going to generate the world. Um, basically, we can send our colonists all the way over here from. What is this? I don't even know what that is. I feel like that was added since <laughs> since we uh, started in an update or something. So if we send our colonists all the way over here, which, if we look, is a three and a half day journey just to get there, um, we can attain that steel plate armor. I'm not going to do that. Not for steel plate armor. We might do it for other things later, but not steel plate armor. That's not really worth it. Especially not early game. It's not like we're, we're just getting ourselves settled here. Oof, this is all ready to harvest. This is all ready to harvest. Man, I, I'm keeping these guys busy. They got nothing but work to do. They haven't been able to, to do a whole lot because... Uh, or they haven't been able to uh, idle or anything. So I don't, I don't want this video to get too long. Uh, so I might cut it off at an hour no matter where we are. But I would 
I, I, I set pretty big goals for myself. Um, eventually, we're going to put a table and chair in here. Because then they can eat breakfast in their room. Which they like. Okay. Um, okay, let me pause this for a second. So I can figure out... One, two, three, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here, I'll, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make a... I'm going to select my walls like this. So 24 is about... I'm trying to get this in the exact middle. It's about these two tiles. Okay, I can remember that. 27. Oh, that door that door kind of bugs me. It's one before the middle, but I'd rather it be there because it's in the exact line of our um, warehouse. Okay, so then according to my calculations, uh, we should put our columns here and here. Now, we should also put some columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So nine up, eight across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll put it there. Okay. Okay. That's probably fine. Um, that'll probably be fine for us. Um, so oftentimes with big rooms like this, it doesn't automatically do the, the roofing area. So we're going to set it to build a roof. Are donkeys? How wild are donkeys? Oh, they 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 may attack actually. So I'll just let them live. They can leave if they want. All right. So I'd actually like to cut down all these plants. There we go. That's right. Get me that wood. Nice. So now we're going to put all of our uh, non... The, 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 the items that we have that do not require storage in here. What? That doesn't look like it's roofed. Maybe he'll get back to it. Oh. Well, one, I hear something being attacked. Where's my kitty? Oh. She's taking care of a squirrel. And she's actually doing a pretty good job. <laughs> so. That's okay. So we got an event called a rare... rare. Oops, where did it go? Oh, it's over here. Oh, there's two of them. Whoa. Thrumbo. Okay. So they're 85 years old. These are like immortal creatures that you just want to ignore early game because they're, they're usually peaceful. But if you attack them, they will freaking destroy you. And you don't want to... Like, we are not heavily equipped enough to take care of them. Um, we're going to want to get our defensive structure up. And we're going to want to have like a whole army before we want to mess with these guys so we'll just let them live <laughs> but they have very valuable th uh, horns that you can sell and fur that's actually really good to be woven into armor okay so he's repairing the roof there okay that's good I'm all paranoid now get those columns built minor break risk why Oh no! Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. 
So my non-cannibal, um, we butchered human like, oh my gosh. So this guy won't care. I butchered human. Okay. So we're not going to butcher people anymore. Um, I'm just going to get the guy to eat the corpses raw. Um, because they're getting upset. Uh, this guy doesn't care, obviously, because he's a cannibal, but these guys are actually pretty upset that we just um, butchered <laughs> this poor soul. Um, I'll uh, get him to eat in the morning. I'll, I'll make him eat the flesh in the morning. Eat raw food. <laughs> but he's so happy about the, <laughs> the cannibalism. Let's see what this says. I ate meat of another human raw like an animal. It was so succulent. <laughs> Silence of the lambs over here. But this guy is not very happy that I made him butcher that poor person. So it would, you know what? I could make it so that this guy only butchers human flesh, but it would require a lot of close monitoring, which I don't want to do. Okay, this guinea pig, I'm sorry, but <laughs> We're going to have to shoot it. Oh, maybe we don't need any. No, I think we do actually need the columns. Oh, we're still unroofed. I see what you freaking did, you bozo. Where are we unroofed? I have to do this again. What? I wish they would come out with something that tells you, hey, um, oh my gosh, we have a fire. Oh, because of the lightning hit. Okay, so I need them to extinguish this immediately. I can't believe I have to look for where this is unroofed again. This is so stupid. I feel like it would be like over here or something. Where's like the the farthest away from a column? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, it's right here. I'll just build it like that then I think because yeah those are the places okay at least I found it pretty quick so they put out the fire rainy thunderstorms really suck well actually rainy thunderstorm storms don't suck too much because the fire goes out really quick as you'll see what really sucks is dry thunderstorms that's really dangerous weather Ooh, turkey let's have some Thanksgiving Yeah, this lightning is kind of kind of loud. Sorry about that. Oh, and if you have seizures or like epilepsy or something, maybe you shouldn't be watching this right now. <laughs> okay, it's gone. <laughs> Sorry if that did anything to anybody. I feel really bad. I myself have had seizures. I don't have epilepsy, but I've had seizures in the past. Oh, I've had I've had one seizure. No, sorry, two. Um but the last one I had was when I was 12, so it's it's been quite a long time. Okay, so we're going to set everything but food. Um, raw resources being plant material. And... Um, mm, something else. Raw resources being plant material... And, oh, manufactured uh, medicine. So no medicine. That's Those are the things that we're not going to store in there. In here, we're going to actually, I'm going to say clear all. Except for food, medicine, and 
plant matter. So those are the things that need to be refrigerated or accessed immediately for like hospitals. So I'm just going to, when will you guys get over the fact that you butchered a person? Three and a, three point eight days. Dang. So those guys are very upset. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you be? So I think it's best for cannibals to butcher it and then eat it, but I'm not gonna. I'll just have them eat corpses because it's a. You know what? What's your? What's your? You're not hungry. Okay, I gotta wait till this guy's hungry and then I'll. Bring them over to eat. Yeah, you just do your research, you frickin' psychopath. Hannibal Lecter over here. Okay, so they're gonna be... Oh, I should name our storage. Oh. Game likes to freeze sometimes when you... Freezer... And this is going to be called Warehouse, I guess. Okay, next we need to build... We're going to build our actual um, production facility over here. And we're going to build some different things we're gonna we're gonna build a hand tailoring bench and we're gonna build a stone cutters table like so Okay. Hunt that turkey. Even though we don't even need it. I'm <laughs> just I just want Thanksgiving, man. Even though it's the fourth of summer. So uh something that you're gonna notice in summer, especially in this climate, is people are gonna start getting heat stroke. No one has it yet. I think it's because it's been so rainy. But uh if a heat wave comes, which I bet it will, uh, people are going to start to get really hot um, and are going to start getting heat stroke. So I don't want to build a bunch of coolers and stuff because it's freaking annoying early game. But so what I might do is I might just like set them to like, I might draft them and then stick them in the freezer for a bit, <laughs> let them cool off. Okay. How many donkeys are on screen? Quite a lot. Because <laughs> if I anger them, the whole herd will come after me, and I really don't want it, that to happen. And But I need to get rid of them, because they're just sitting in here. There's only a 5% chance of them going after you, but that's 5%, which I'm pretty sure with each bullet. So, adds up over time, and you don't want that to happen. We would we, we, we would be knocked unconscious. We might die. Oh, I should see if... Uh, no, he just ate. Didn't eat the frozen human meat, but ate everything else. Well, one, one good thing about this is that there's no... Uh, oh, we, we slaughtered that guinea pig. There's no... Uh, there's nothing edible in here, so... You know, they'll probably leave on their own because there will not be anything edible in here soon. Because we're going to cut down all those plants. So, it's probably nothing to worry about. Just need them to leave. <laughs> Maybe they'll just die of starvation in here. Okay, we got our stone cutters table. Won't add any bills yet. Hmm. 
moving our components in here. So they're just hauling everything that's non freezing over there. He's refilling our torches. See, the another good thing about oh, like one of the really good things about uh, getting a geothermal generator right away is because you're not going to be reliant on wood and you go through a lot of wood trying to keep everything in line like you've got to refill your torches you got to refill your stove everything so keep that in mind I think I'm gonna save oops I didn't mean to turn that on I think that was beauty yeah I'm gonna save we're gonna override our garbage save over here that I created I'm keeping another save open just in case I have a failed recording or something because you never know things happen Human meat, rot butchered flesh, can be cooked into meals or eaten raw, although most humans dislike the idea. Most. Ooh, whoa, whoa, why am I lagging? What the heck? I'm lagging all of a sudden. I'm like nowhere. What's going on? Let me see. Sorry about this. Let me open up task manager here. Something trying to run that shouldn't be. Checking my performance. My CPU had a spike. It seems to have gone down. This rim world's eating up space. Okay. Seems to maybe be better now. Okay. Don't know what that was about. Sorry about that. I think maybe my antivirus started up or something for a minute. Because I had a huge spike in my CPU usage out of nowhere. Yeah, they have nothing to sell. We don't care. Okay, I might... Okay, here's one thing. This area is not, um, is not, uh, cold, so we're actually going to turn that off. We're also going to expand it to there. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay, some, you need to, I want you to prioritize hauling this. Because this is going to go bad if you don't. There we go. Jeez. Ooh, they're getting into a really bad fight. She might need tending. I'm actually going to turn her... I'm going to actually... Now that we have herbal medicine, I'm going to turn everybody to herbal so that we don't use our really good quality medicine this stuff until later because that stuff is actually really important and you can usually treat things with herbal medicine i think i can treat this guy without medicine and he'll be okay 
at least with that. Okay, he's fine. So I'm going to be treating my cat without medicine too. Actually, why why would I do that? Let's eh, just for now, for now, because we don't have a lot. So yeah, this stuff takes a long time to spoil. Uh, we're refrigerated right now. It's because it's summer, but it'll it should be fine. This is all leather from butchering things. Oh, our wool is done. Our cloth is done, which is good. Can make carpets with that. Yeah, so we're kind of just waiting for things to happen right now. Okay, so we got our tailoring bench done. Stone cutter's table is done, but not too sure what uh, we're, we're, we're not going to be using it yet. I just want to finish this first, and then we'll we'll worry about that. It would also be a good idea to start connecting this entire structure together into one so that it's easier to defend. Which is going to take some materials to do. We're running out of wood. I need someone to cut wood, like now. You. I need you to cut wood. So yeah, you can prioritize them to do things. And they will do them right away. Which is helpful when you are needing to refill generators. Or build things. I'm going to get him to actually work on this. A lot. What are you doing, Shay? You're playing horseshoes. Okay, I'll, I'll let you do that for now. Okay, actually, I'm gonna get you to refuel the generator because I want to keep this full all the time, or else. Or else we're going to have some issues with uh, keeping our freezer cold. You know what? I'm actually going to suspend this for now. No more cooking. We have 78 meals. We don't need any more. Do other things. Our cat will be fine. Unless she develops an infection. Then she might not be so fine. Is it a female? Female cat, yeah. Yeah, I might have overcompensated with the meals. <laughs> Another thing, I want to actually set some... I'm going to assign these peop uh, their food... I'm going to um, create a new food restriction. I'm going to call it no MREs. And I'm going to allow them to eat anything except for packaged survival meals. Because they will eat them. And... There's a lot of, of these. Let me see. Lavish, fine, simple, paste, raw. Nothing. Okay. So no MREs. I don't want them eating our packaged survival meals because these are really valuable. Don't need them doing that right now when they have other food that is actually able to spoil. Oh, this guy wants to trade. Uh, who's our social? You are. All right. He's kind of our unofficial president, Arvid. Let's see what he's got. 
He's got components. Which you kind of want. But. Smoke pot. Uh, smoke pot built. I'm actually okay. I'm okay for now. Doesn't really have much. They're starting to get better with what they're offering, but. Not too much better. Trade will become very important late, later in the game. Uh, trade is one of the most important things. So it's a good idea to keep peaceful relations with your neighbors. As best you can. What is she doing? Oh, they're trying to train her. Yeah, you just eat at my table. Just smile and nod. Oh, they actually left us a gift. 41 silver. I, I'll take that, man. Thank you. That's nice. That's money. Yeah, I decided to get rid of the uh, Daily Comb logo that I had because I find it's just obnoxious and why do I really need it? Because <laughs> it's cool, it's hip. A lot of people put logos down. We are halfway done researching, man. That's great. Uh-oh. We have a Manhunter pack of guinea pigs. So we have two guinea pigs that are going to be trying to destroy our face. Um, I'm going to send these two out to kill them. But now there's two of them, which makes this a little bit harder. Okay, I want you to engage him. Okay, this... Where is... Okay, Shay's over there. Let's break off, break off. He might be getting destroyed by some guinea pigs in about two seconds. Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> oh no, I'm getting wrecked. Now the music gets all intense. Oh god. I'm actually getting fucked by these guinea pigs, man. Okay, I'm actually going to have to send in some backup. My, uh, my person with a knife. Just run, 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 run. Why can't you shoot for shit today, dude? Need to send... Get over here, Archer. He'll actually die in seven hours. Seven hours. Come on! Fuck! Can't you shoot for shit? It's a guinea pig. Thank you. Run. Okay. You... Okay, so now we're going to have to deal with our first ever um, injury. So, Arvid, I need you to go... <laughs> yeah, you go rest, buddy. Who's our doctor? Please tell me it's not Arvid. Well, he is a doctor, but uh, Archer's much better doctor. Okay, Archer, uh, you're not going to be researching. I want you to actually go over here. Actually, what is what is he doing? He's praying, okay. I want you to... Yeah, tend to, tend to Arvid. Go get that medicine. Man, he got <laughs> messed up by those by those guinea pigs. I think he'll be okay. We'll get we'll get him some treatment right away. He might be at a commission for a little bit though. Ah, he's okay. Yeah, he'll be fine. Be a little bit out of commission, but. Uh, you butcher those guinea pigs. Teach them a lesson in violence. Yeah. This is why the hospital is nice. Once we get it up. So, he's going to need 
food brought to him and stuff. He's got a minor break risk. Oh, I wonder why, because he's in freaking intense pain. Major break risk. I really don't want him to break. Actually, it'd be really good if he... I've actually converted these to percentages instead of something else. I'd actually like for him to pass out. It would have been nice if he passed out, because... Shit, why do... Oh, he's got a fucking infection. Oh, shit. Sorry for swearing there. Um, you need to tend to that. He's going to die. You need to tend to this infection. Now. Okay, so... Infections and disease. Um, you'll see two numbers. You'll see this one that says infection minor, and it says... Oh god, dumbass is in a daze now. Oh god. So, he's got an infection in his eye, his right eye. And you'll see it says, um, infection minor, and it's developing. If that gets to 100, he'll die. And then you'll see that thing, it says immunity. Once that gets to 100, he'll live. So you want to make sure that immunity is gaining faster than the infection is gaining. It looks like it is right now, but he's in a daze. So he, because he just had a mental breakdown. Because, I mean, can you really blame him? He's kind of upset <laughs> at the whole situation, and so he's just gonna wander around for a bit. Oh, is he? How bad is he? It doesn't look like he has any any like permanent injuries, which is good. Okay, lacerated his eye. I don't know how that works, but colonist needs treatment. Yeah, he freaking does, but he won't sit down for some medication. He refuses to take his medication. Dude, go to sleep. <laughs> Archer's just chilling. Okay, this guy needs freaking meds. It's almost best if we knock him unconscious, take him over and lay him down and force feed him. Okay, come on, dude. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Heat stroke. Uh oh. Okay, we're dealing with a bunch of crap um, because it's really hot all of a sudden. People are pissed off about that. People are getting heat stroke. This guy has an infection that's making him deteriorate. <laughs> Dude, you need to. Can you stop and go to sleep? Ugh. Oh, great. That's just what I needed. And he's right there, too. Great. See, this is what this game will do to you. It'll throw the worst things at you at the worst time. Especially because he's going after Arvid, who can't even defend himself right now. Okay. <laughs> Poor Arvid, man. <laughs> He's being attacked by a freaking rabbit. Cause he... Can you go over here and kill this thing? No immediate danger. Okay, that's good. Okay, dinner. <laughs> Arvid, go, s go lay down, dude. You're a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> His right arm was already, like, really hurt, and then he... Oh, he actually went and laid down. Okay. Tend to him. Because that infection 
It's getting freaking nasty. There we go. Yeah, you eat. He's still in a daze. He just went to bed. <laughs> I love music in this game. It's great. Okay. Okay, he's out of his days. He's playing horseshoes. <laughs> okay, he developed immunity, so he's going to survive. Alright, he'll live through the infection. He's been through a lot. <laughs> he needs to have a rest. Yeah, you work on... Good news is this is getting some pretty good progress in. My cat's just hanging out with the donkeys. Now if one of these becomes Manhunter, that would suck. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hold these open. Maybe they'll leave. Yeah, I'll close them for now. <laughs> He's healing the cat. Look at these two, what a pair. Okay. How long have I been recording? Almost an hour. Damn, we haven't made much progress this episode. It's because a lot of crap happened. Okay, I need you guys to take care of this. No, you're not doing that right now, actually. You're going to... I need you guys to haul. Start hauling shit. Not hauling. It'd actually help if I maybe fix their work priorities, but... Okay, I need you to prioritize hauling this stuff. Because I don't like it just sitting here. Okay, do that until you're done. You don't need rest right now. Just just go haul. <laughs> See, there's a lot of walking speed with our cloth here, so I might move our cloth production to over here later. Actually, we should do it now. Oh, good. You went on a freaking food binge, you piece of garbage. Because you had a freaking mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah, you eat all of our food that we've been freaking dying to get. Sometimes these things happen. They are people. <laughs> Great. Oh, just what I needed. Oh, okay, we're going to just send this guy after him. So he's preparing. Hopefully Shay can just like be a beast and take him out. Come on, do it. Dude, what's with you lately, man? There you go. There you go. There you go. What a... Oh, dang. Headshot. Oh, we do not want to recruit this person. 
So you're a fast learner psychopath. Got really great skills and everything, but one big deal breaker is uh, this guy has a psychite addiction and a really large tolerance to it. And that's really bad because <laughs> he's going to go kind of crazy. Actually, he's got psychite T right here, which means, uh, which reminds me, I need to set our our drug policy to no drugs whatsoever. Um, we will sell that tea, though. So that's a type of drug that... Basically a hallucin hallucinogen. Actually, what's your hunger at, bud? Why don't you... Uh, consume. There you go. <laughs> Freaking took her head off. <laughs> what a savage. <laughs> what a freaking savage. Uh, raw cannibalism. No, oh, he's almost healed. Surprised he didn't get any permanent injuries the way they were going at him. Arvid is fully healed. Oh, new lovers. Shay and Arvid are now... Wait, 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 that doesn't make sense. No, Shay and Archer, I was like, they're not gay. Both of them aren't gay. I think, isn't, isn't Arvid gay? Or no, that was some other dude. Okay, so we have new lovers. Um, that's sweet. So this is really good because from this point on, uh, they're going to have really good relationship with each other unless they break up. And they're going to have lots of sex, which is going to keep them really happy. Lovers in this game are pretty broken because they have so much sex and it makes them so happy. So so who was it again? It was Shay and uh, Archer. You're freaking with a cannibal. Isn't that nice? So I'm going to actually... Well, I'm going to destroy this bed here. Or... Ah, no, that, that's a waste. Let's build them a joint bedroom. Where they can have all the sex. Okay, so we're going to make a double bed. We'll put it in this room. And then it'll actually free up both these bedrooms. Which will be really nice. So, I need them to prioritize doing this. Because they'll be unhappy. Who's my constructor? You are not really my constructor. You are, okay. I need materials. I need, I need, I need you guys to freaking get cutting plants. Okay, you. I want you to cut down these trees. Really need you to get on that. Because we're running out of wood. Oh my god. My freezer. You. This is why you gotta watch your freaking wood supply in early game. This is what happens. No, you're not doing that. You're refueling this. That's where that wood is going. That's the priority right now. Yeah, you keep refueling. Now it's going to take forever to cool down, and it's really not good. Okay, I need you to prioritize working on that. need you guys to be constructing. No, I need you to work on that. Okay, you're pretty hungry after you do that. Set owner, Archer, and Shay. Okay, no, I need you to work on this. 
Oh, you don't have wood. Okay, cut down these trees. Now, work. Yeah, they'll just sleep outside. <laughs> Oh, see, they're already getting at it. This will make them so happy. You guys have no idea. Get some lovin'. There's nothing like a tumble between the sheets to lift the mood. Yeah. <laughs> Arvid's just third wheeling now. Okay, I need you guys to freaking cut down some wood. I need you guys to do this. Uh, no, actually, don't. Actually, yeah, it's fine. You can bury him. The, the thing is, the reason... Okay, here, Arvid. Okay, you're already working on that, good. The thing is with this is that uh, I'm prior I'm mainly prioritizing getting that getting this built or getting this done, um, and then all these crops come in. They have to haul all this stuff. There's just so much work to do. They haven't even sown this rice field yet. It's good that our corn is done. Okay, we're down to 40 meals. Uh, once we get it down to like 35 or so. I'll get them cooking again. Okay, at least this is back down to zero. Summer's almost over. Summer is like the worst time of year in uh, this biome. Because it's just so hot all the time. It's been a while since I saved. Let me do a quick... There we go. This game does autosave too. All of Arvid's blood is still here. <laughs> blood of Arvid. Blood of Zooey. Uh, I want you to... We still need more wood, dude. Okay, I need you to... Cut these trees down quick. It's our... I like to always have at least 75 wood in storage, but they just got so much work to do. And days aren't long enough. Slaver. Ooh. See, if we had prisoners right now, we could sell them into slavery. Okay, Arvid. Get over there and do some trading. He's had a rough night. <laughs> yeah, so we can buy we can buy slaves. They don't actually become slaves; they become actual colonists. You can buy an Arctic wolf. It's tame. A boomalope. Nice. Oh, will you take my psychite tea? Doesn't even say that I have it. the heck guys oh you probably haven't uh... okay haul that so that we can sell it to them because I'm pretty sure slavers buy drugs <laughs> I mean if they're slave if they're practicing slavery they're probably not the classiest people what the heck how the heck did that happen <laughs> weird okay now no i need you to go over here and i need you to trade with these people we're not gonna I, I i never buy colonists through slavery they're just way too expensive i'd rather recruit them 
Yes, buy my tea for 26 silver. There we go. Ah, thanks for consuming some human flesh there, bud. Ugh, that's not helping. Yeah, th this will stack, because they'll have sex like five times a night, and then you'll get a huge bonus. Catharsis. Felt good to finally unbottle my feelings. Uh-oh. She yelled at somebody. Burning. Oh, yeah. Okay, quest active. Saving Sh Chandler. Prisoner being held in... No. So what we could do is we could go find that, that prisoner and, and rescue them. Usually I have more than three colonists at this point, which is also why this has kind of been going pretty slow. Um, ex excuse me. Why do we Why do we keep having our walls mess up? Did the donkeys invade? <laughs> Guinea pig self-tamed. Ooh, that's lunch. We're literally going to slaughter that in about two seconds. I'm mad at guinea pigs now. And dead. <laughs> Slaughtered. Just need this to... Getting, we're getting really close to this geothermal power been playing for like hour and 11 minutes here I know I said I cut it off at an hour but I'm having fun man it's pretty fun mm. should have been watching my wood stocks earlier are you finally cutting down trees Look, he's finally getting to work on some stuff. Oh, gosh. That's a mega sloth. They provide a lot of meat, but uh, they're pretty ferocious when you try to kill them. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I'll get them cooking again. We actually got down to minus nine over here. We got a lot of meat. We got a lot of corn. This is good. We're, we're good on food. Finally, you're taking this stuff in. All right, we're finally making some progress here now that. Like in the time that it took for us to uh, to plant this corn, that bush had fully matured. <laughs> yeah, heel root takes a lot more time to plant. As you can tell. Okay, I need, I need you to, oh no, okay, I'm going to get you to, cut down this tree. And I need you to prioritize working on that. Okay. Indoors, okay, good. Now I need you to refuel this generator. This 
So much to do. We need more freaking workers. Especially when we need to get everything out of here. Oh, I think everything's out of here. That was... Okay. All right. It's pretty satisfying when you when you actually look and see, oh man, I built all this. Or just over time. Oh. I don't know you could toggle automatic refueling. I don't know why you would. Well, I guess in some instances you turn that off. Okay. We're actually going to have to give them more work to do by enabling this. Because we're running lower on food. And I'd like to keep a more of a stock. So he's hauling more stuff. He's basically organizing. And now he's... Why are you... Oh, he's just organizing. You know, it would be better if you did more higher priority things like build. But I don't think he's our constructor anyway. No, he's... He's other things. This guy... Sad thing is this guy's our constructor. And he's cooking. <laughs> Actually, I want you to right now eat and then... Okay, you relax socially. Because I know you're need in need of recreation. Okay, whatever. I don't want to micromanage these guys. That's just not fun. I'm just happy they're researching, honestly. That's my number one priority right now. As long as they're researching, this can wait. We're so close. We're actually really close to getting this done. Maybe once that's done, I'll, I'll stop for the day. Oh, my neck hurts. Because I've been straining it a bit. Oh, and I am tired. I did a lot today. I did a lot of things around the house. I did a lot of cleaning and organizing. Actually really tired me out. Surprising. I also built some furniture. So. Did a lot today, so I'm pretty tired. I took an hour nap. And this COVID thing is uh, been really weird I haven't been working because of it usually I'd have a job right now and be doing a co-op internship through my university but there's nothing like that right now actually right here I would not want you to automatically refuel these because we're not really using them Yeah, Arvid, that's good that you're... Ah, good. So, this is finally done. I will order you to cut all the plants in here. And haul all the things. Okay. 
Okay. Quest expired. Yeah, I know. Once this is complete, I'm going to actually set some bills. I'm going to create some... We don't need clothing yet, so I'm not going to tailor anything yet. Oh, and uh, probably help if we had a light source in here. Actually, put the light source right there. Um... Yeah, we won't tailor anything yet, but I'll get some stone cutting right away. We're going to start making some uh, granite blocks. And then comes the building of the great defense structure. As well as connecting the entire fortress. So yeah, that's going to take a lot of material. <laughs> Oh god, freaking ran out of wood again. It's okay, because we're almost done. Cut down this tree. And cut down this tree. And cut down this tree. And cut down... This tree. And refuel this generator. Why is this off? What the f what when did that happen? Why did that turn off? That didn't even make any sense. What are you doing? God, like, when did I do that? <laughs> Turn it on. <laughs> Crying out loud. Okay. Oh, we're almost done. We're so close. You can't get them to prioritize researching because it's considered a long-term task. I find that kind of stupid. <laughs> oh, we got stone cutting in here now. We finished researching geothermal power. So, now that we've finished researching geothermal power, our next research project will be batteries. But right away, we can go to power, and we're going to build a geothermal generator, which requires a lot of steel. But man, is it worth it. Uh, this is going to be great. So, we're going to set a power conduit. Like this. And uh, yeah, that's where our power will start. Now, I need them to get a bunch more steel. But we can get that from ship chunks out here. And I need them to get on this right away. This is our next priority here. So then we can just turn off this generator and not worry about wood anymore. We'll also convert all these to run off electricity. So then we're not burning through wood every five seconds. Because it is really annoying having to rely on wood, as you can tell. Especially when this guy literally never cuts anything, which is my own fault. Just, I'm going to make him cut all these trees tonight. Takes him like two seconds. There he goes. Okay. That'll be good. <laughs> 
cut these trees down. Now, go to sleep. <laughs> no, I don't want you to do that. I want you to do this. There. Okay. And then... That'll be the last meal you cook for a while. Researching. Okay, you can research. <laughs> See, look how fast we're researching batteries compared to what we just researched. These guys spend way too much time freaking relaxing and not doing anything. Refueling torch lamp. Okay, yeah, please do that. <laughs> they don't like uh, having their sleep disturbed. That's why barracks suck, is because it's a huge mood penalty when people like interrupt them while they're sleeping like that. They're little babies. Okay, let's say we actually make granite blocks. So now she's going to be making granite blocks. And with those granite blocks, we will now finally get our defense structure. We're going to start making our defense structure here. So it's going to look like this. And this is going to take a very long time to build. But it's going to be sick. I'm not even going to move those because it'll it'll slow them down for a bit if they try to come in through there. Oh, who am I kidding? That'll probably be moved eventually. All right, let's get this granite. These granite walls. So the reason I'm using granite, if you remember, is because granite is the most um durable wall in the game i'm pretty sure hopefully i'm right about that <laughs> i think i am so i'm gonna build all this granite there I think that's good. Oh, we need to build out here as well. Oops, actually no, not not out here. Because we're actually going to turn that into barricades, which I will also build. I'll build that once we... Oh, I need to build this on the other side too. Okay, let's do that quick. Yeah. Well, actually, let's let's get them to build one. So then we at least have one done before we start the other one. We still need a lot more steel. Get deconstructing, guys. Gonna need to... Get that uh, thing built. I need you to actually prioritize deconstructing. What is? Oh, it's now fall, which is good. I need you to actually deconstruct because we need to get that geothermal generator built. Do we have any other ship chunks? Probably went over them a million times. People are going to be yelling at me. Oof. Anybody good at mining? Hmm. 
He, of course, the guy that's good at everything is good at mining. I want to mine all this out. So we can get some more steel. Quest. Shield belt. That's actually tempting. I like shield belts a lot. They are quite good. Yeah, I know. Jump to item. That doesn't look too far away. See, this is really tempting. 1.2 days. But before I ever try to do these quests, what I usually try to do is get some package survival meals enough for the trip. Oh, this is really tempting to get that shield built. Shield belts are really good for late game armor for your melee fighters. Okay, I'll just I'll let it pass for now cuz I don't have package survival meals yet. The ability to make them at least. Need material steel. Okay, Arvid I need you to mine. That's right. You get mining. Just watch your needs. Oh, good. We uh, we have batteries now. Oh, uh, let's get solar panels while we're at it. Those will be good. Marriage is on. Oh man, they're gonna get married. Those freaking guys really like each other. Okay. I need you to prioritize building. We should have enough components, right? And yeah, we only need eight. Only eight. These things are expensive, don't get me wrong. All right, here we go. Just gonna need some food. Ba boom! There we go. Geothermal generator produces six three thousand six hundred watts of electricity. This will last us a long time. Uh, these are the best form of electricity in the game, besides one thing, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Wow, this is great. Don't require any maintenance whatsoever. And they just produce a constant state of electricity. Very handy to have right now. Of course, now we get a raid. And they're going to, of course, be pretty close to my generator. And Arvid is... Oh, he's rested. Still getting the same level of guys. This guy actually has clothes. Ooh. All right, Shay, you know what to do. Kill them and eat them. Stick them in a stew. This looks like a... Uh, this bolt-action rifle kind of looks like a... Uh, SKS. Okay, I need you to turn around now, because he's going to come after you. You... Okay, it's not a good position. <laughs> Alright, you start firing at him. 
There we go. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully he survives. Let's see, what what is he? Oh. Oh no, that's not bad. Eh. He's incapable of both medical and social. Ah, just kill him. We can do better. He's also a uh, misogynist, which means he's going to cause a lot of problems for uh, our one female colonist. So, maybe it's a good idea that we just kill him. Come on, man. Target practice. It's good target practice, at least. Oh, you fucking dick! Oh, you piece of trash. Oh, gosh. Oh. See, I told you friendly fire was a thing in this game. <laughs> Shay's gonna need to do some apologizing. <laughs> How is he? Oh, not good. Okay, can you actually just shoot the guy? Thank you for five seconds. Gosh, dang. Taking forever. You can hit me, you can't hit him. Oh my gosh, this is taking way too long. What level are you? You're level 11, dude. That's really high. You're really high in shooting. And you can't shoot this guy who is barely living. Oh my gosh. Sometimes this game is pretty bad when it comes to accuracy. Okay, you go heal yourself. This guy's dying by firing squad. And by firing squad, I mean Shay. And then he's going to... Huh, Shay could go for a snack. All right, consume that corpse. Arvid's on a food binge again. Wonderful. That's just perfect. Which, actually, that's really bad because the dumbass is gonna... Dumbass needs to freaking heal himself. Can you... course. Okay, did you consume some flesh? Alright, good job. Arvid, go freaking sit down for a minute. Go have a lay down, dude. You've freaking shot in the leg. This guy is like, is asking for a death wish, man. He's a really good colonist or else I just let him die. Go lay down. This guy, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's suicidal or what. Yeah, you keep making... Oh, man, you're making lots of chunks. Or lots of blocks. Good job. That's good. That's good. Arvid, can you... Can you, like, relax for five seconds? Okay, good. Go... Go lay down. Yeah, you go tend to Arvid. Good job. Medical emergency. Oh, no shit. He's been walking around with a gunshot for hours. Just like, acting like everything's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. 
What are you doing up? Go make love to your wife. Or fiance. Yeah, fiance. You're not married yet. Oh, okay. You can you can be productive. I won't complain. It's like four in the morning, but you know. Okay, this has been good so far. Yeah, surface swearing earlier, man. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that uh, he shot him. Oh, Arvid. What a guy. Okay. So he's healed now. I'd like for him to not build the granite wall, but instead build... Work on these. Not the wall. Oh. Let me see the power here. Okay, so this can be shut off. Shut this off. Nice. So this is just going to constantly power this area here, which is great. Oh, that's so nice to have a geothermal generator now. Um, next step is going to be to actually turn this fuel stove and stuff into, and these torches into lamps. So we're going to actually have to build a power conduit throughout our base here. Bulk goods trader. Bulk goods traders usually have really nice stuff. Um, so, always check in with them. Arvid cannot talk probably because of poor health. This will affect trade prices. Uh oh. Goose eggs. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff. They'd actually buy my cat, but I don't want to sell my cat. They want to buy my components. I don't want to buy, sell my components. Oh, we can sell our... It's a good idea to sell your, like, leathers and stuff if you have excess. So I'll sell this leather here. Guinea pig fur. Human leather, yeah, you can take that. Camel hide, you can take that. See, they're buying it for quite a bit. Uh, actually, I'll sell. I'll sell this light leather. I'll. I'll keep the. I'll keep the plain leather. And I'll sell this bird skin. All right, we just made like over five hundred silver so that's a pretty sweet deal just need to put that in our storage whenever people have a minute all right so we won't have to worry about running out of wood for power anymore which i'm quite happy about Um, hmm. something that I think I want to get started on too is actually, yeah, is converting these things. So we're going to deconstruct this. We're going to deconstruct. Oh, actually, wait, don't deconstruct that. I want to get power flowing in a rather efficient manner. <laughs> rather efficient is... Emphasis on that. So we're going to put a lot of power conduits down. Uh, 
Um, and then we're going to do this. And actually, no, that wouldn't be too efficient. We'll do It's best to go alongside the walls because um wall like con power conduits aren't very beautiful, so like how we have them crossing this floor here isn't very nice. In fact, I might change this. Yeah, actually what I'm going to do, this isn't even very efficient, so I'm going to actually select. Ugh. I'm actually going to change up how I had this set up. Not the, not Archer or Arvid. No, what did I just select? No, don't deconstruct. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cancel that too. I'm actually going to build like this. No, not even like that. <laughs> Sorry, this is not going too well. Um... I'm just trying to, I'm really just trying to think about how I want to build this so that it's not interrupting beauty too much. I think, yeah, because that's where the wall is. Okay. And then that connects to that, like, like so. Okay. Then we'll build up to there. And we'll carry, we'll carry it all the way. To here like that okay so that's how our power is going to travel through our base i like that okay so that's how we'll do it now that's going to take a lot of steel luckily we have uh him set to mine that steel so in fact no <laughs> I'm actually going to... I'm not going to allow this construction right now. Because I would rather him work on uh, other stuff at the moment. I'd rather him work on making those power conduits and mining. He can finish that wall there, but that's it. In fact, Harvid, let's take a look at what you're doing. I'm not going to have you cook right now. I'm just going to have you... You can grow. You can plant, cut. Smith, Taylor, Art. We're not going to have you craft either. I just want you to mainly focus on constructing and mining. Gift. Oh, we received a gift. That's nice. Oh, components. That's really helpful. Man, the gifts have been really nice lately. Sometimes I leave you, like, some leather or something. It's like, oh, great, thanks. Very appreciated. Alright. Let's just get this guy to... Yeah, he's getting on the, these components. Isn't it much easier when you actually... <laughs> Enable your work priorities properly. Much easier. Now he's just cloud watching. Yeah. 
Okay, let's carry this electricity all the way over here. This is going to take quite a bit of steel. Luckily, each component only requires one steel. So, but I mean, this is a lot of components. <laughs> As you can tell, each one of these tiles is a component. It's nice that they actually cut down the trees if they're in the way of the construction. Like they're smart enough to figure that out themselves that you would probably, if you set that place for construction, you probably mean it. <laughs> So, uh, what I might do, because I'm realizing that this is getting really repetitive, and oh my gosh, it's been almost two hours, <laughs> this part. What I think I'm going to do, these are just some travelers, is after I get this done, uh, after I get this part done where we are, where we are, um, got these components all laid out and uh, maybe have this replaced. I'm going to finish this structure. You already know what the blueprints look like on my own time. And I'm going to finish this one too. I'll finish them on my own time. So there might be a long time in between videos, but not a whole lot's going to happen. So I think I'm just going to cut that out and work on this by myself. Oop, <laughs> didn't, didn't disable that. Okay, did he finish? Yes, he did. Good job. Okay, I'm actually going to suspend this, and I'm going to set this to be deconstructed, 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 and we're going to replace these with lamps, which also require Hopefully no components. Okay, good. Components are not a dime a dozen. So we're going to replace all these with lamps. Which I'm quite happy about. Standing lamp. Not a sun lamp. Um, I guess we'll put it there. For now. You can always move it. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to be completely running off electricity and not lamps, or and not uh, these, not wood. So now we're just going to set ourselves to build a electric stove and some lamps. We're going to build a lamp there, a lamp there. Lamp. Oops. Um, I'm just going to build lamps there for now because we're not using the other rooms. Actually, I'll build a lamp there because we want at least one spare room. And I'll build a lamp there. He's harvesting. Need more steel. Okay, after you're done relaxing socially, I'd like for you to go mining. Okay, I'd actually rather you mine because you're gonna get way more steel doing this. Okay. So yeah, I, I can go over metals and stuff later, um, but steel obviously is very important. Okay, I think you're good. Uh, go eat, because you're hungry, obviously. Yes, now build.
Oh, my cat has found some sort of vermin. And it's okay. Freaking wrecked him. As always. No surprise there. Okay. I'll let him sleep and then tomorrow he'll build the, uh, the remaining things and then I'll probably call it a part there. Because I don't think you guys want to watch me build all this. What I also might do in between videos is I might build flooring and I might connect the base together. Um, so I'm probably going to add a wall along here. So keep that in mind. Good. We can add our bill. Uh, cook simple meal. Just do it forever because I don't want to do math and figure out. <laughs> I have a, I actually have a formula that I created that determines how many um, how many simple meals you need per how many colonists you have uh, but that's way too nerdy I'm not going to do that Arvid what are you doing okay you're, you're actually not doing what I want you to do I want you to do this right now just mine quick and finish oh you already did Oh, dang, you're fast, dude. Okay. Sorry for doubting you. <laughs> okay, I think... Yeah, we, we had... We, it might not seem like we did a whole lot this video. Actually, we did. We got a geothermal generator. Um, it just doesn't seem like a whole lot compared to last time. We also have a bunch of these granite blocks. I'm actually going to... I'm going to allow all this construction again. Oops, what? Stop. Allow. Okay. Can allow this construction again. And hopefully next time I will have everything kind of un under control. I don't know if I'll record the next episode and just like maybe if I find some things that were kind of fascinating, I'll uh, enable that. Maybe I'll go for a little bit longer in this episode. <laughs> maybe we'll hit the two hour mark. Yeah, we're actually building quite a lot of this wall, surprisingly. Uh, I don't want that. Actually, give me all the steel right here. Okay, can I just select it all? Sometimes the selection in this game sucks. Just take all that steel from those walls. What is this wall? Limestone? Okay. Granite 510. What about slate? Because I, I always get granite and slate confused. 390. Yeah, so granite is the most durable wall. Best for defense. So. Marble is the best... Uh, wall for um, beauty. So we'll be using marble for sculptures and stuff. Okay, there's Shay.
So that's great. We're uh, so we can actually check on our power grid. So um, I'll explain what this is. So this is our grid uh, of our power, and we have basically this much excess and this much. Something that you'll also find happen is your conduits will cause fires. Yeah. But your colonists can usually deal with them. Anyway, before I was so really rudely interrupted, um, so basically you have so much excess electricity and you have so much stored electricity. This is how much each geothermal generator produces, 3,600 watts. Um, and we have 2,040 watts excess of that. So we're only using... 3,600 minus 2,040. I'm not going to do that right now. And uh, in my head. And then we, if we had batteries, we could store. This would go up and we would actually store that, which we do have batteries researched. And I'm going to put my batteries in this room later on. We don't really need them right now. But it's good to have them researched. We almost have solar panels done. After solar panels... Maybe it's not a good idea to cut them building this out because other things are happening too. And actually, he's making quite a bit of progress. I'm actually really impressed with the amount of progress that's being made on this so far. So, you know what I'll do? I know what I'll do. I might cut, well, I might, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll make a decision later. Oh, another thing. Uh, we haven't seen any of these creatures yet, but they're really important. Um, and they should come through our territory eventually, is muffalo. Muffalo are awesome because you can get wool and you can get... Sorry, you can get milk from them. So, once we get muffalo, we'll tame those and we'll make like a barn over here. Maybe over here. Actually, it'd be better to have it with the food, so we'll put a barn in here. Keep all the muffalo and uh, here's some wild boars. These are awesome attack animals because they're really expendable and they breed like crazy. So uh, we're going to be taming some of those later. Probably a good, good idea to chop some of this wood down over here. so nice that we don't have to worry about wood. It's not going to gradually go down over time or anything. So, all you people that would make fun of me for picking such a huge progress, huge thing to research right away, who's laughing now? And all those people that think, oh, well, you could have built solar panels. Those don't run off wood. Well, then you have to build batteries, and it takes so much, so many resources, and they don't provide nearly as much as many watts that you may as well have gone with <clears throat> the geothermal generator in the first place. I'm just having so much fun doing this. Like, I, I don't know, I could sit here for hours, play this game. Time just flies when you play RimWorld, man. It's like, it's crazy. See, and now we're at a constant just minus nine. Because this thing is just providing so much power. These things don't have to struggle with the wood fire generator anymore. We're going to keep this. I just turned it off for now. We're going to keep it um, for a bit. Uh, as like a backup generator in case something happens. But that's it for now. We'll also we'll probably have some backup generators in this room as well. Make sure you don't roof this. Don't create a room with a roof because... I mean, just think about it. There's a steam geyser, a bunch of steam. This will explode. So don't do that. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to preemptively click on remove roof area. And I'm going to set this area in here to never have a roof. Because eventually it's going to think that this is a room. And we just do not want... We want this to be a courtyard. We do not want this to to have a roof at all. So, I'm going to put that there because it's bothering me. 
Um, yes. Actually, and then all of this, none of this will have a roof. Oh, except for, uh, I want, I want this to have a roof. I do want this to have a roof. And I want this to have a roof. And also all of this needs to be roofed. Good. Because, so I'll explain why. Um, the reason I create like this bunker for my people to shoot through is because th they don't like it when they're like, I think it actually, it, it, I don't know if it affects their accuracy, but they really don't like being out in the rain for long periods of time. And if they're sitting out here, like waiting for en enemies to come, I, I would just rather them have a roof over their head. I'm nice to them like that. So I think Archer has just been freaking cutting those stone blocks like nobody's business because we have so many, which is great. There is no stopping this train here. He's just hauling, hauling and hauling. Eclipse. Here's the other thing about why not to build solar panels right away, because the Eclipse will shut down your power, but won't affect the Steam Geyser. So there you go. More reasons. Uh-oh. We have a cold snap. One second. Sorry, I just had to sneeze. Okay. This is not good. <laughs> My colonists. These things might die. Let's see how cold it gets. I'll monitor the situation. 14, 13, 12, 11. Okay, it's getting cold. We're going to uh, make some heaters. So we're just going to put some heaters in here. We have the electricity. We may as well use it. We just don't have the steel, really. Um, <laughs> we're not going to heat up that space. It's way too much. We'll heat up this space. We'll heat up the kitchen. People spend a lot of time in there. And we'll heat up this area. Okay, Arvid. Prioritize building these heaters, man. Actually, don't build that one. Don't build that one. What? What? The steel was right there, dude. What are you doing? Oh, you need components. Yeah. Don't get hypothermia now. Oh, yeah. All of our plants are dying because of the cold snap. It's okay, because we have lots of food, so... Yeah, he's getting hypothermia. Good thing is... Uh, these things, see how we have, I think we have way more power all of a sudden. It's because these don't have to work very hard because of the cold snap. And now these are, these is, this is just going to have to work hard in order to keep this at a nice temperature. In fact, you know what? I'm being really inefficient with this. I should put it here. And then I build a, uh, you can build vents that'll actually take the, uh, take the warm air and it'll put it in there. So, okay. No, I need you to set reinstall. Can you not do that? Can I not prioritize doing that? You know what, I'm not going to build this many heaters. 
I'll just have the one for now. Oh, transport pod crash. Who are you and what? Oh. Dang it, man. If, if, if she wasn't chemically interested, I would have taken her. This is a good colonist. Good worker. But the fact that she wants to get into drugs, that's like the most, that's the worst trait. And that matters. Uh oh. We had a solar flare. Good thing there's a cold snap so that my food won't rot. <laughs> so solar flares will shut down your electricity for a while. Not very long. It's not a big deal. It's not the same as like an eclipse. Disease. Uh oh, she's got he's got a disease. But it doesn't seem to be Okay. Fibrous Okay, it needs tending now. Okay. Someone needs to you need to tend to tend to Shay here. Oh no, and now there's a freaking psychic drone. This is not good. Luckily he's got a heater. What do you got hypothermia, dude? It's 20 degrees in here. Okay, I actually need to... I, I think I've had this disease before. I actually need to look it up. Like, not me. <laughs> I think I've had it in the game before. Sorry. Fibros... Men. I think it's in this rim world. This is an actual disease in real life. I'm <laughs> getting all this stuff. Ooh, I'm just getting. Maybe I spelt it wrong. Oh, mechan. Mechanites. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's a real disease. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, um, fibrose mechanites is a mechanite disease which brings up mild pain in early stages, boosts several disease. The disease does not kill the patient. Treatment. Treatment with or without medicine through proved progressing. Treatment interval. Treatment with or without medicine through medicine improves treatment quality, though medicine improves treatment quality, preventing disease from progressing. Okay, how long does it last? I don't I don't think it lasts forever. I don't think it's like Okay. Okay. So he's just gonna I think he's just gonna be out of commission for a bit. Um which sucks for him, but... Hypothermia? Oh, dude. Ooh, that's not good. He's got serious hypothermia. He needs to freaking go in here. Just go in this room. I don't care. Just get in here. No one would reinstall the thing. Warm up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like creep over Archer <laughs> and warm up for a bit. Okay. Okay. Dealing with co cold snaps is not fun. I'd rather deal with a heat wave than a cold snap. So he's... He actually gets boost from this disease. Um, blood pumping, a boost of manipulation, and moving. But he... 
he takes a damage to talking, eating, and consciousness. It's really weird. And it causes pain. Okay, you're okay now. Well, kind of. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll just I'll just get them to stand in that room. Okay. Cold snap is over. Okay, turn this off. It's going to start to warm up now. Can't wait till I get more call on this. This is going to go by so much quicker. So now you're starting to see what this really looks like. Oh, I actually want a door here. Just a wooden door there and a wooden door over here. Don't use other doors unless you really need to because they open really slow. All right, we got a raid. <clears throat> this guy. Oh, he's actually got a bow. So I'm actually going to send Archer out there to uh, knife him to death. You can see the range on his bow. So I'm going to send the whole squad out. So I never really talked about this, but typically you want to send people who have, oops, people who have melee weapons against people who have ranged weapons, because once they get here, they can't use their bow anymore. And now they're in ranged, they're in melee combat. I'm going to get you to stop. How's Archer doing? He's doing okay. Oh yeah, he's dead. We didn't want him anyway, he's got an ambrosia addiction. You hungry? Yeah, you could go for a snack. Go have a snack. She needs healing though. Luckily there's nothing permanent. Got this guy eating flesh. <laughs> Alright, go on. Take that ambrosia too. Death in 17 hours. Okay, we'll let them sleep for a minute. Who's my doctor besides her? 10. Okay, we'll get Shada. Tend. Okay. So this is good. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this either, but when you have infections like this, it's best to treat it with higher quality me medicine, uh, at least industrial tech, um, and not herbal because you want that infection to go away as fast as possible. Okay, after that... Um, Hmm. Let's do carpet making. So we can build some... We can start making some carpets. Which uh, adds to beauty. Oh, they actually made it so the trees change color in fall. 
just noticed that. And fall is about to end. And then it will be winter. But it'll still be warm in winter, at least. That's, that cold snap that we had is colder than our normal winter. <laughs> so... If we get a cold snap in winter, it'll be even colder than what that was. So we gotta be careful. Alright, I'm surprised how quickly this is being built. Don't want a roof over this area. Or this. So no roof here. No roof there. We do want a roof here. And then no roof in this area. Alright, so that should be good. So, um, I just realized I don't have any I need a I need to create a door here too. So I have this hallway here. You're probably wondering what that's for. That's for um, my melee fighters. So when these guys come out here, when the enemies come out here, I'm gonna have my melee fighters come out here and just take a nice sword to their face. You're okay. Ninety two food. <laughs> Lots of food. Okay. This is good. Getting this nice defensive structure built. I do want a door here. We're going to keep this open though. Same with our main entrance to the base. It's just going to be an open door. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Maybe that won't be an open door. All right. We're doing really good. I'm actually gonna get these granite chunks to be hauled away. Mm. Cause they're in that hallway, which isn't good. So I have these set to be deconstructed, as you can tell. <laughs> He's feeding her. It's okay. She she made a lot of progress. She deserves a rest. She built a lot of these granite blocks. So she's finding. So I didn't really explain that either. She's finding these granite blocks in different places. Um, lots of sandstone chunks. But basically, she finds these chunks like over here. These granite chunks, and she takes them over here and she makes them into. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this guy. Nope. <laughs> Need warm clothes. 
Okay, we're going to get started on that. I'm actually going to start building some... I think it's parkas. Yeah. We're going to make three parkas. And we can make it out of... Uh... I don't like making it out of cloth. Let's not make it out of cloth. Let's make them out of leather. How much does one need? 80 ingredients. I um, might need to make one out of cloth. Maybe I shouldn't have sold all that leather. But it was worth it for that money, which they still haven't collected and is just sitting out in the open. Ah, he's a skeleton now. Isn't that nice? Just some rotting bones. So now it's actually winter, so we're going to need some warmer clothes. Because it is like 5 degrees outside all the time. That's not very warm. <laughs> 5 degrees Celsius is not very warm. So when Archer is healed, I'll get her to... It's not too... It's, it's going to be urgent soon, but it's not like super urgent right now. really build this all the way down, but I think I'm going to make it wood. Make that part out of wood. Wow. I'm surprised how much progress we've made. This is great. So, um... I'm debating whether or not I should stop. It's been two and a half hours. <laughs> and I said I'd stop at like an hour. be a good idea to cut down all these trees and plants and stuff because otherwise people can use them as cover and we don't want them to have any cover at, at all. Oh, she's making it. This is good. Uh, how many has she made so far? She's just This is the first one she's made. Okay. Plain leather parka. I want to save my cloth for carpets. That's why I'm hesitant to... That's how far he is on making carpet. So that's what this will unlock, which is nice. After carpets... I don't know, maybe we'll start to get our economy going by making drugs. Um... Or Devil Strand. Devil Strand's really important for fabric later. Actually, sterile materials is probably next. Oh. Alright, let's send out the boys. The boys. Go get them. See, look where he's going. He's going right for my freaking geothermal generator. Because he knows that that's worth a lot. See now, but I kind of distracted him, which is good. Okay, get out the way. Don't. There we go. Oh, here's a dead body. <laughs> that's that person that I refuse to save. Let's see. Is this guy worthwhile in anything? Incapable of firefighting. I don't like that. I'm picky when it comes to colonists. I like having really good ones. Like these guys. 
Could you use a snack? You could use a snack. Consume. <laughs> I wonder if this guy gets freaked out by watching him eat. No, he doesn't. He doesn't care. He's like, that's his business. <laughs> ah, so good. What a warning to people coming by. Just like, if you try to invade us, we'll freaking kill you and eat you. We won't just kill you, we'll eat you. He's making them doors. Not very efficiently, mind you, but... Just because you make really efficient pathing for these people doesn't mean that they will use really efficient pathing sometimes. Sometimes the AI is like, oh no, this is a really good idea. So she put on that uh, that jacket she made. So now she has... So um, I guess now would be a good time to go over apparel. Okay. Um, when it comes to apparel, things that are good to make are um, parkas for when it's, for when it's cold button down shirts for when your clothing starts to get tattered uh jackets are good for extra protection and then just pants in general um cowboy hats are good for people that are um oh we could also make toques we should make toques that'd be good i'm gonna make toques Tukes are also good for extra warmth. Oh. Um, we're going to actually enable cloth now. On this. Alright. Yeah, this will just go away eventually, I think. Just sucks. It's not a good disease to have. It's nice with the bonuses it gives you, but it just takes so long to get rid of and it eats away your medicine. Nope, oh, fire. Oh, that's not a good place for that fire. Oh. Actually, Arvid, I need you to prioritize repairing that quick okay <laughs> that could have been really bad <laughs> for obvious reasons I don't think I need to explain that <laughs> okay we have 73 meals maybe if I disable this yeah she will do other things Actually, he just doesn't have enough food to uh, create any meals right now. Quest failed. Oh, I don't care. Sometimes uh, those refugees, people have relationships with them, and they'll be really upset if you don't go save them. And they'll be upset for like some days. Oh. Oh. They're getting married now, finally. Come on, dude. Go get married. So they're... they're <laughs> there's all this blood. <laughs> and their only witness is Arvid. Yeah, so now they're going to have a little party to celebrate the occasion. And they'll all like, just socialize and stuff. They all like each other, which is good. Sometimes they don't like each other and... Then they get really upset. Anyway, he has a wife and she has a husband. They fell in love. Isn't that nice? It's great. Maybe Arvid will find love one day. We'll see.
Watch they get divorced like right away. That'd be sad. That can't happen. So I think they should get a yeah, they get a huge thing for thirty days, forty plus forty to their mood, because they got married. He needs warm clothes. Uh, it's the 5th of December. Okay. Research finished. Carpet making. We have beautiful carpets from cloth. Yes, exactly. So next is sterile materials. I want to get researching on that. You want to always have a research project going. Otherwise, you're going to fall behind. So good thing we got that. So now with sterile materials, we'll unlock sterile tiles, which will make that kind of flooring in here. Um, oh, why not? Let's get some dark carpets going. Make them happier. They earned it. Um, yeah, we'll do that for now. Exotic goods trader. Oh, these are really good traders. You're going to want to trade with these people. Um, it's good to put carpets uh, in places that you need for beauty. Um, so I'm going to put carpets in all these areas. Uh, I'm going to put it in the dining room, the recreation room when I finally have that built and the bedrooms because that's where beauty matters and it'll make them happier oh they have advanced components you see these guys have really good stuff plasteel i'm i'm like really tempted to buy it a gold so the triple rocket launcher mega screen television that's nice okay so I'll tell you right now, components are going to be really important. Advanced components are going to be extremely important. Plasteel is going to be really important. And there's a lot of stuff in here that I could explain, but I won't. Mega screen televisions are really nice. Give you really good recreation. And um, gold is going to be really important as well. All these things are really important right now, but I don't have my economy set up. I wish these guys came a little bit later when I had my drugs, because that's what we're going to be doing is just selling a bunch of drugs, making our money that way. Anyway, our people now have their... Uh... Tukes done, which is good. So we have some warm clothes for the winter. I'll have to remember to take off, take that off when we're when they're done. And I'll have to like do some apparel management to do that, but we won't worry about it right now. Okay. My neck hurts. I'm not sitting properly. Visitors. Okay, what do you, what do you guys have to trade? Maybe you'll have something I can afford. You no, know, it would have been nice if we had that silver. We have herbal medicine and beer. Smoke pot belt. Nothing I want. Maybe I should buy this stuff. I need to get Arvid to actually prioritize hauling this. So we actually have the money in our inventory. Long trip. There we go. And then maybe I will actually buy something from them. I should buy something. 
They might leave soon. Yeah, they left. Okay, I need you to run after them. Okay. If we buy these components, it's going to be 787. Advanced components can be 777. The gold is 800. Okay, what about the plasteel? 618. You know what? Give me <laughs> Give me uh Um I don't know. Advanced components This gold is really good, and I, you know what, give me this gold. Yeah, I just bought that gold. They've got cobras. There's all sorts of animals in this game. Okay, Shay, when you're done that, do you mind picking up that gold so it's not just like laying out in the open like that? Oh, they actually left us a gift. Glitter world medicine? That's sick! Oh, that's great. That's really good for... Sur that's the best medicine in the game. That's good for surgeries. Later operations and stuff. Man, we've been getting good gifts. It's impressive. They left us a gift. And a bow. Okay, that's pretty crap, but whatever. I'll take it. It's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Okay, Archer, I'm going to get you to prioritize hauling that gold. Nice. So now we got gold. It's nice that you can see all your resources just right here. Didn't really mention that. But I think it's pretty obvious. Okay. The reason I bought that gold is because gold will be very important later in the game. And uh, I, I, should I should at least just get it now while I can. But any of those things that I was kind of toying around with would have been good components. Advanced components. Those were really good too. I can make advanced components later, but... Actually, maybe those would have been good to buy because <laughs> the only way you can make advanced components is if you have them already, which is really dumb. So sometimes you're at a stalemate until a trader like that comes, but I'm sure another one will come before late game. <laughs> Hey, actually, could you uh, haul this so it doesn't deteriorate? <laughs> Thanks. Again, the reason I'm putting all my medicine in here... So herbal medicine will expire over a long, expire over a long period of time. Uh, obviously, Glitter World and Industrial Medicine won't. But I'd rather it be in here and close to the hospital when we build it. Rather than my doctor having to go all the way down here, grab the medicine, come all the way back and... By then, the guy's dead. So. Anyway, this is looking really nice. Nicer and nicer all the time. It's just taking a long time to build because it's such a massive structure. But I'm glad that Archer is so good. Like she must have really high uh, crafting. No, she doesn't. Oh, okay. Huh. Thought she had like really high crafting because she's just blazing through those blocks. Soon we're gonna make fine meals, and I'll get into that later. But we won't make them now. 
I'm just going to stick with simple meals right now because I've got other things to worry about. Don't need to be worrying about making that right now. Okay. If you're ever low on food, um, a good thing to do is to click on this harvest and harvest these berry bushes and stuff. Um, I won't do that right now, but harvest berry bushes. You'll also find wild heel, heel root out here, which is nice. So, Yeah, that heel root just turned into this herbal medicine. I feel like I have been explaining this, but maybe I'm not dumbing it down as much as I should be because I realize it could be confusing. These blocks just really don't take much time to build. Where's she getting them from? All the way over there. Oh, okay. That's not too far. Oh. Here we go. Still building. Um, none of these carpets have been made yet because we're building other stuff right now. I don't know if we have any... Well, we have some cloth. We don't have a lot. This game is really relaxing. Okay. I think I'm going to end it there. We've been going for almost three hours, so I think I better end it here. Um, so, thanks everyone for watching. I think I've just decided now that I'm going to do a lot of this off screen. I'm going to finish building this. I'm going to build this. And I'm going to save my game. I'm going to build this and this, like I said, and then I'm going to have this whole structure connected and we're going to have some, a lot of flooring done. We're going to have flooring in here. We're going to use, I think I'm going to use sandstone flooring because sandstone is pretty common and I'm not going to use it for anything else. So I'm going to put sandstone flooring in this room, in this room. And I'm going to put carpet in this room, sterile tiles in this room, which, you know what, I'll go until we lock unlock sterile tiles, and then I'll end the video. Um, and then I'm going to put sterile tiles in here and carpet in there. Okay, so that's what I've decided, but I'll, I'll keep the video going just for now. I'll play for a bit longer. And if anything interesting happens, I'll just explain what happened and what I did. So, Because I'm sure something interesting will happen. Like maybe I'll get a new colonist or something. Really, I've gone a long time. Um, item stash. Shield belt again. Dang, man. Those shield belts. Rice plant has died from being left unharvested. You know what? I need to go in here. I think I'm going to enable him to do those things again. But he just has not been harvesting because he's been constructing so much. We've just been prioritizing other things. But that's okay. 
because um, yeah, like literally what I did. That was like he has plant cutting enabled. We just we need more colonists. We haven't been able to keep this up. Keep up the demand of all the tasks that we have to do. Okay, we finished sterile materials. I think I'm going to pick a new research project and then I'm going to be done. Um, what should we do? Uh, let me think. Next research project should be either guns. Maybe we'll get guns. Maybe we'll do... Might do guns, we might do drugs. <laughs> guns or drugs. Let me let me think. I'm just going through my notes here. Let's do could do auto doors. Those are helpful. Ooh. Okay, I'm thinking either auto doors. Yeah, maybe I'll do auto doors. So auto doors are doors that open on their own and we'll put them here in these rooms. Doors that are accessed really frequently, all these. And uh, this door here. Those are the doors that I'll make auto doors so that we can just speed up things so they don't have to wait for the door to open. Anyway, that'll be the next research project that we do. And then after that, I think I'll do... Actually, after that, I might do microelectronics and unlock the next part of the tree. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Wait, this already unlocks a comms co console in Orbital Train Beacon? They changed that. And then we're going to do microelectronics. We're going to do hospital bed and vitals monitor. Well, multi analyzers, vitals monitors. Yeah, I like to do some really hard research, as you can tell. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to save. And uh, I think I'm just going to. See you guys next time. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This was a really long part. Um, we got, we actually did get a lot done. We did a lot of our defense structure over here. We got our geothermal generator done. We finished this room and this. We started making apparel and stone blocks. Um, fought off some raids. Did a lot of research. We did make a lot of progress. It was just slow going because Usually by this point, I have more colonists, but who's to complain? I have some really good colonists. Um, all right. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and I will see you guys next time.